we have an expression that is the sum of cosine of 0 degrees, cosine of 10 degrees, cosine of 20 degrees, and so on, and the last term is cosine of 180 degrees. We need to find the value of this expression without the use of a calculator. Notice how each angle increases by 10 from the previous one. So first we have 0, then 10, 20, 30, 40, then after 40 we will have 50, 60, and so on, and the largest angle will be 180. To understand how to find the value of this expression without the use of a calculator, we will use the unit circle. From the unit circle, we see that when the angle is 0 degrees, cosine is equal to 1, but when the angle is 180 degrees, the value of cosine is negative 1. So, if the value of cosine of 0 is 1, and the value of cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1, then these two terms will cancel each other. Now, let's take a look at cosine of 10 degrees and cosine of 170 degrees. On the unit circle, this angle has the measure of 10 degrees, and this one has the measure of 170 degrees. The values of cosine of these two angles will also represent two opposite numbers. If we would just use the calculator to evaluate cosine of 10 degrees, we would get an approximation of 0 0.98, and if we use a calculator on cosine of 170 degrees, then we will get an approximation of negative 0 0.98. So, for the angle of 10 degrees, x is approximately 0 0.98, and for the angle of 170 degrees, x is approximately negative 0 0.98. We can also say that for the angle of 170 degrees, the reference angle is 10 degrees, and because cosine in quadrant 2 is negative, then cosine of 170 degrees is the same as negative cosine of 10 degrees. Then we can say that cosine of 10 degrees and cosine of 170 degrees will cancel each other. The same will be with cosine of 20 degrees and cosine of 160 degrees. Then cosine of 30 degrees will cancel with cosine of 150 degrees. Cosine of 40 degrees will cancel with cosine of 140 degrees. Then, somewhere in the middle, we will have cosine of 90 degrees, but cosine of 90 degrees is 0. Then we can say that the value of this expression equals 0. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.